up you guys, David here once again for another video and today I'm at Sweet D1 at Fortune Auto's North American headquarters. Who is Fortune Auto? Fortune Auto makes some of the best coilovers in the world. I use it on my 240. A bunch of cars I've reviewed have used Fortune Auto coilovers and they're personally my favorite brand. Why are they my favorite brand? Well, because they ride extremely smooth and they're used in some of the best time attack cars in the country. Fortune Auto was kind enough to invite me up to tour their facility to show you how coilovers are built and also why Fortunato is one of the best products you could buy for your car. So let's go inside and check it out. Growing up in Richmond, Virginia, I did not realize something was so close that was so special. Fortunato, which is located in Powhatan, Virginia, just outside of Richmond, built some of the best coilovers in the world. Several racing teams use them and many drift cars use them. Each Fortunato coilover is hand built and tested vigorously. Each shock that they build goes through a dyno test showing the capabilities of the shock and making sure that it is up to par with the rest of their products. Fortunato really isn't afraid to show their progress. They have trophies in their waiting room, it's a very colorful environment, and they even have a Jaguar with one of the craziest coilover setups I've ever seen that was hand built and designed by the guys at the shop. You can't mistake the green coils from Fortunato and you've probably seen them on cars yourself. Put it this way, when I ordered the Fortunes for my 240, they asked me, what engine do you have in it? So I had to say I had a 2JZ 240SX so they could do the calculation for the spring rate. Right? Yeah. And then those coilovers are for a 2JZ 240SX, exactly. which I think is incredible instead exactly. of just buying a generic 240 coilover. <laughs> so they do the research here. There's yep. lots of research done here exactly. in this very innocent little building in Palatan, <laughs> Virginia. I think it's so cool. So for the average viewer out there that doesn't know a lot about cars, what goes into building a coilover? Oh, a ton. <laughs> um, what, what, what do you want to know? Every, what's the step-by-step -step process? The step-by-step -step process, um, so we start with the shaft, and then we put all the components on the shaft, and then we put uh, oil in the shock body, and then once everything on the shaft is assembled, we um, put that into the shock body, and then put nitrogen in the coilover, and then throw it on the dyno. That's really cool. Yeah. I'm sure it's a pretty rewarding process once it it's is. all together. It Plus, is. you get a birth certificate with every single one. <laughs> Creeping on Trey, creeping on Trey. <laughs> How's building coilovers life, Trey? It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing better. This, uh, yeah, we do Swifts. That's an upgrade for 510s, and they come on Dreadnoughts as well. Um, and then we have, we have our green springs right here. Uh, Swifts are more compliant. And they're made with a magnetic steel alloy, which just all around better spring. So that's the fluid step you're talking about? Yeah, so this is Blue oil. They're, they're like I would use for all of our motorsport shocks. We use the 510, we've got all the dreadnoughts. Cool. So in other words, that's why I feel so good on the road. <laughs> that is definitely one of the reasons.
That basically just shows the range from full soft to full hard. Oh, okay. This one is for a BRZ and it's uh, one of the front corners. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Yeah. So do you do you guys get like tons of requests for different platforms like all the time? We do. Yeah. Yeah. Like, different chassis. Yeah. yeah. we do. So we do a lot of our uh, our chassis list for five ten is in two ways. It's pretty extensive. Uh, five hundreds or more. But um, but yeah, we do a lot for other sports stuff. Completely installed already. So basically, all you do is mount it in your trunk and then run your lines and then run your wires to your battery in the ground. Ta da! Yeah. <laughs> Seeing coilovers be built was one of the coolest things I've ever seen in the aftermarket. It is a labor of love and it is very tedious. I cannot give credit enough to people who do this. So I wanna give a huge, huge thanks to Fortune Auto for letting me tour their facility. It was an amazing time. I definitely recommend their coilovers. They're really fantastic. It was really cool seeing how a coilover was built. Cause you think in the end, it's just like, you just get this manufactured strut and then you put a spring on it. And you're like, oh yeah, no big deal. But at the end of the day, a lot of work goes into it. The dyno was really cool. Everything was a great experience. Make sure to check out Fortunato, and I'll put the link in the description of their website, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Have a fantastic day. Okay, bye.